Hello, today I'm going to teach you how you can produce decent videos using Windows Movie Maker. I actually use Movie Maker to edit all of my videos. All of the tutorials you see on here are made using it, including the ones on my Another Santa Cruz Skater channel. So the first thing you want to do is click here and select the files you want to use. Once they are prepared, then you can begin editing. So Movie Maker does not have very many options as far as video effects, but you can still produce decent content with it. To create an intro, you click Home, then Title. The clip for an intro will show up in the timeline. Click over in the preview screen to edit what it will say. Once you've typed that, you can choose Font, Color, and a few other basic options. If none of these colors fit what you're looking for, then you can go to More Colors, and then define custom colors and choose any possible color. You can also choose a background color if you like. Here you can type in an exact number for when you want the text to start and how long you want it to last for. You can also choose when to have it start by dragging the text thumbnail around to any location on the timeline. Now you can add effects for how the text will appear. They don't give you many options for editing clips but here's what you can do. So if you want to add any clips you can click home then add videos and photos. Now to edit clips you go to video tools and there you will find several options for what you can do to your clip. So if you want to have your clip start a little earlier than the original video then drag the line on the timeline to the spot you want it to start and click set start point. And the same goes for trimming the end. Just click set end point. Let's say you want to cut the clip up into two parts. What you would do is drag the line to where you want to split it and click split. Here you can adjust the video volume, have it fade in or out, and this is where you can choose video speed for the clip. If you go to project, you can set the aspect ratio of the video. I recommend setting it to 16 by 9 because this is the size of the YouTube player so you won't get any of those black bars. If you go to visual effects, you can set effects to the video such as black and white, sepia, and blur, as well as changing the brightness of the clip. Under animations, you can add animations at the start and end of your clips. I almost never use this unless I'm editing a montage or a video that needs good transitions. Under home, you can add clips, add music, take videos from your webcam, and take screenshots from the video. You can also add captions and rotate your clips left or right if necessary. Over here you can upload your newly made videos to sites such as YouTube and Facebook. This is the way I do it because it reduces the number of steps you have to take in order to get your video up. So once your video is finished, click on the YouTube icon and sign into your account. Then you can set the video title, make a quick description, and add tags if you like. Well thanks for watching this tutorial, I really hope it helped. In the second part of this video, I will teach you guys some tricks you can do in Movie Maker to have way more options as to what you can do in it.